In our morning rounds, precision medicine, it's being called the future of health care. President Obama announced in January he wants $215 million for researchers to explore the personalized approach. A new opinion piece in The Lancet spells it all out, spells out what's at stake. And one of the authors is our own Dr. David Agus. He joins us from Los Angeles. David, good morning. Good morning, Gail. So this must be important to you to put your name on it. What does it mean exactly? Well, the World Economic Forum came to us and said precision medicine or personalized medicine, they're the same thing, is happening all over the world. Well, is it good for society? Does it actually make better health care and costs? And I think the amazing thing we found when we did simulations of what would happen is that most people were using it for disease, to treat cancer, to understand it better and others, and very little for prevention. When you use it for prevention, there are dramatic effects that benefit both the patient and society in the tune of billions of dollars in savings. What could it prevent? Well, if you could start to identify early who's at risk for things like heart disease, diabetes, and some of the psychiatric disorders, you can intervene earlier. And heart disease, cancer, diabetes are the big killers now. So if we can intervene early and make a small dent in those diseases, there'll be dramatic effects later on. So how do you get the information that you need to determine treatment? Well, right now we use genetics. So right now you spit into a tube, we can sequence your DNA, and we can start to do things that are personal, that are precision for you. You know, it means the right dose of the right medicine for the right patient. Going forward, we're going to look at other factors. We'll start to look at proteins. We'll start to look at bacteria in you. And all of them to start to personalize things. You know, we say in our country, age 50, get your colonoscopy. Mm -hmm. Yet many people get colon cancer before age 50. Many people who have a colonoscopy don't have a polyp. So the idea is to do the right thing when you actually need it. David, is there any disease you would not want to know about? Well, you know, right now, to me, knowledge is power. And so every disease I would want to know about, because I want to plan my life differently, and hopefully I would intervene and delay the disease. So to me, I want to know, but it's a personal decision. So for many diseases, you need to discuss with the patient, or I do, and say, do you want to know? Yeah, and I, I think most people would say, yeah, but you say the American healthcare system isn't geared toward that. Well, that's the problem, is that we're incentivized to treat, both at the insurer level, the doctor level. And so if you say to an insurance company, well, pay now to do a test that may prevent a disease 10 or 20 years from now, they say, well, that person's going to switch plans in four or five years, so why should I do that? Doctors are paid to treat, to do surgery and other things. They're not incentivized to prevent. So we really need to reshape the system and push to that prevention because I think that's how health care should go over the next decade or two. It's a really important point. Thank you, Dr. David Agus. Thank you, guys.